Life has never changed in Africa. The continent has made almost no progress in development of the black communities and to their society. Well, in this episode, we will break down all the facts with supporting evidence on how rich is Johann Rupert this year. This includes all the assets he has from his classic car collection, also his mega mansion he owns, and his latest net worth, together with his businesses. If you want to find out more on how rich is Johann Rupert, just sit back and watch this video until the end for you to be surprised. The problem with mankind, with all of us, is we always try to play our worst suits, our weakest suits. Marketing people try to be accountants. Accountants, the worst, try to be marketing people. We should prioritize. Many people didn't even know this man. Well, for your information, Johann Peter Rupert is a South African billionaire businessman. Plus, Johann is the eldest son of the late business tycoon Anton Rupert and his wife Huberta. Rupert grew up in Stellenbosch, where he attended Paul Ross Gymnasium and the University of Stellenbosch, studied economics and company law. Surprisingly, he dropped out of from the university to pursue his business career, and he got lucky to succeed it on his dream. Rupert also served his business apprenticeship in New York City, where he worked for Chase Manhattan for two years and for Lazard Frères for three years. He then returned to South Africa in 1979 and founded Rand Merchant Bank, of which he was CEO. The man was born in a rich family, which benefited the most during apartheid, and Johann managed to keep his family's generational wealth in power. Did you know that Johann Rupert owns 60% of the businesses and companies in South Africa? This includes all his companies like First National Bank, which is Africa's largest bank together with West Bank loans. This guy is super rich in a way that he owns majority of the media companies like ETV channels, OpenView TV, and other many more news media companies. I'm sure you didn't know that he also owns Discovery Company that deals with insurance and banks. On top of that, he also owns Direct Access Insurance. Well, if I have to mention all his companies, it will take the whole day, but I will try and cover some of his companies. The man also owns various mines in South Africa, especially diamonds, since he is in the jewelry business of selling luxury watches and rings, also necklaces. This also involves his shares on Piaget Watch Company, selling expensive luxury watches worth millions of dollars. Plus, he also has shares on Cartier Watch Jewelries and many more luxury brands in the group of Richmond Company. Rupert also invested in selling luxury tobaccos, such as Big Cool Cigars and Cigarette with Hubbly Flavors. The man and his family are involved in all the industries and companies the world has to offer. Well, the Rupert family owns almost 50 businesses and companies in the world, including their investment across Europe, America, and Australia. I'm sure you're also wondering on how much is he worth this year. For your information, Johann Rupert is currently worth a whooping $12 billion, according to African Billionaire website and Forbes magazine. This man is the new richest man in Africa as of year 2023 June. He managed to suppress Aliko Dangote. I know many people wouldn't believe these facts, but unfortunately, it's the truth and reality. Well, it's estimated that Johann Rupert makes roughly about $3 billion per year, and that's a huge achievement. Now let's us talk about his multi-million dollar car collection he has in South Africa. You'll be surprised that this man only drives classic cars like his Ferrari 250 GT, which is one of the best cars during the 50s and was the fastest too. The price of this vehicle is worth around $7.5 million, and that's a lot of money right there. Plus, it gains value and appreciation every year, which is a great low risk and no effort investments. Johann Rupert's car collection is worth around $12 million, and he only has 20 classic vintage cars. This includes his 1964 Aston Martin DB5. It's one of the best classic cars in the world. And Johann Rupert is also a big fan of 007 James Bond. But the man is mostly being driven by his blue light bodyguards and is only 73 turning 74 soon. So there's no need for him to drive by himself. If you made it this far, just quickly please subscribe to Marshall TV channel. And also like this video for us to reach at least 100,000 subscribers. Without any doubt, the Rupert family owns mass majority of the land and properties in South Africa and across Europe, including Australia as well. You will be surprised. Johann Rupert stays at a $50 million mega mansion in Cape Town, South Africa. This house stands as the most expensive home in Africa ever since it was built. It looks like a castle type of design with the kingdom style touch on it. The man lives in super luxury, like another rich white privileged person in this world. 
Some will say his lifestyle is like a European. Well, it doesn't stop there. He also owns a $30 million super yacht that was manufactured in Italy by best engineers in the European continent. The name of his yacht is Tankoa Yacht, which is 50 meters in length and 10 meters width. It produces a top speed of 25 knots, which is very fast for a big yacht this size. On other hand, he also owns a massive, huge Airbus plane that's the same sizes as the presidential aircraft. Inside, it's so luxurious and it feels like a five-star hotel somewhere in London or Dubai. Rupert is the only person in Africa who can afford this kind of jet for just personal use only, but not on commercial. This Airbus cost a whopping $85 million, which is very expensive, and I believe it's worth the money. Most of Johan's assets were kept a secret from the media and the internet, so we have limited information about his spendings. Overall, the man has a lot of money, and he can afford almost everything in Africa that has to offer him. He managed to reclaim the power of his people back in Africa and made it clear who owns Africa. As for Aliko Dangote, things are moving slow, and the economy in Nigeria is bad. Plus, the country is collapsing day by day. Johan Rupert and his best friend Nikki Oppenheimer have joined forces to take over South Africa and Africa as a whole continent. Many people are working for these guys in Africa, and they have created millions of jobs, so they have power to control all governments in Africa. People often ask, so what did I enjoy most? Uh, Rembrandt, Richemont, whatever. I would say business partners that we started in 1979 and we've created nearly 700,000 jobs. That's the kind of legacy that I think I'd like to leave. And uh, trying to finish what my late brother started here on the farm. I would never have gone into wine farming, ever, if he hadn't died, never. I was perfectly happy to collect wine with him and I drank a lot of very good wine. What I love about this and farming in general, but wine especially. In industry, if we design a prop product properly, a watch or something, at the end, if we do everything correctly, I know it's going to end up perfect. Here, you do everything properly. You pick the right terroir, the soil, the right viticulturalist to prepare everything properly. And then two weeks before, you either have a heat wave before the harvesting season or you get hail or something. So it keeps you very, very humble. Agriculture keeps you very humble because you're never quite sure until the end. Inclusion Johann Rupert is the king of Africa and has taken over the continent by surprise. Some people knew it coming, some didn't. Just comment your thoughts on the new richest man in Africa as of year 2023 on the comment sections. Overall, that's Johann Rupert's lifestyle and spendings this year. And make sure to subscribe for videos like this. Also watch my other videos on the pop-up on the screen and turn the notification bell on this channel.